Everyone knows that gefilte fish is a Jewish food. We love eating gefilte fish on Shabbos and Jewish holidays. But what is so Jewish about gefilte fish? The Jewish law instructs us that fish should be a part of our Shabbos meal. We are supposed to have a good meal on Shabbos, and fish has traditionally been a part of any feast. A deeper spiritual reason lies in the fact that fish are the first creatures that God blessed after their creation. The tricky part, though, is that according to the Jewish law, the removal of bones from fish when you are sitting at Shabbos table is problematic. No, it is not the issue of proper table manners or of getting your fingers dirty. We are not supposed to perform certain types of work on Shabbos. And this is why, for example, all of our food is supposed to be prepared before Shabbos. Selecting the not needed elements of food from the needed ones is one of the prohibited types of work. There is a spiritual Kabbalistic explanation to this law as well. We are created in order to make the world around us a better place. There are two ways of accomplishing this task, by removing the bad and by further improving the good. Extracting the negative from our midst, dealing with the bad, is the job we are supposed to do on weekdays. Shabbos is entirely dedicated to positivity, and we are only supposed to be dealing with the good by further elevating it. So, in Kabbalistic spheres, it is all clear, but when we come down to this material world, we are still left with a question. How do I eat fish if I'm not supposed to take the bones out of it? Jews found a way. They created gefilte fish, a fish prepared with no bones. Jewish day-to-day -day life for thousands of years, like the lives of no other nation, has been revolving around the laws of our religion. Jewish traditions did not appear randomly out of thin air. They all, like eating gefilte fish, came as assistance to the laws of our religion. Tradition is important to so many Jews, but can tradition alone be enough? It depends. If doing the rituals without asking why enough for you, then tradition alone perhaps can suffice. But if you are not satisfied with doing things mindlessly and want to understand the reason behind it, then you need to turn to religion.